So in this video, I'll show you how we automated a recruiting agency with one AI system in Airtable, NADN, and Clay. This system automatically detects hidden job openings at companies by tracking employee exits and promotions. It then automatically finds the hiring manager of the company that now has an open role to be fulfilled together with their email and LinkedIn contact information and suggest a personalized outreach message. It also automatically tracks new job postings across multiple job boards like Indeed, LinkedIn Jobs and more, and can also find the decision maker contact details of these companies. And in this video, I'll show you a demo and a breakdown of the system here in Airtable, NADN and Clay. Now we've built and refined this system over months uh, and we just launched this new solution on my website. So if you're interested in adopting it, you can book a free call with us in the description below. Now, if you're not familiar with recruiting, spotting openings and reaching out to these companies as soon as they need to fill a new role is kind of the main game in recruiting, right? And this system allows recruiters now to detect new openings weeks before they go public and competitors might go after them. So this system has really made a big impact on some of the clients we worked with. Now, here we are on the main dashboard. Now, the first step to this system is, of course, to have a list of profiles to track. Now, many recruiting agencies already have an ATS database or applicant tracking system, which is very easy to upload into this system. Um, but we also provide this service to our clients if they don't. So in this example, I have a long list of profiles we're going to track here, uh, 17,000 in total. Now, in the job intelligence dashboard, uh, we basically uh, get an overview of new opportunities that were found. Here we have the total amount of profiles that are being tracked on a weekly or bi-weekly basis to spot if there were any internal job changes or external job changes. And if there are any, they will be monitored here. You can see there are 156 job changes for this one. And out of that, the system found 141 potential co uh, companies to target. Now, of course, when an applicant moves from one company to the other, there are a lot of times actually two opportunities. First, the company that now needs to fill a role. But we also know that the second company who hired the employee, employee is most likely actively hiring at the moment. So we can get multiple opportunities out of one job change. Then here we can see the decision makers or hiring managers for these companies that we can potentially target, in this case, 191. Here we can also check what type of career change it was, an internal career change, an external one, or a portfolio expansion, basically like an extra job. And here we can get an idea on the job changes per day of the week. Then here in the job discovery dashboard, we can see the amount of new job postings on LinkedIn, Indeed, and other jo uh, job boards that have been analyzed. How many are actually qualified according to your company's criteria? And we can also see what type of jobs you are looking to hire, right? Director profiles, executive profiles, or mid to senior levels. And we also have a function breakdown by department and a seniority breakdown. And again, an idea of uh, the jobs being posted by the day of the week. But here in the review opportunities, we get to the interesting part where we can see all the potential new opportunities, both for career changes uh, when monitoring profiles, of course, and potentially interesting uh, new job postings. Now, the system automatically enriches the potential opportunity company here. So a user can easily find more information about the company, uh, their LinkedIn profile. They can get some company intelligence, a market analysis and a salary range estimation. And based on this data, a recruiter or recruiting agency can quickly decide if this is actually a relevant opportunity or not. And if so, they can uh, just change the status here to qualified. And once they do, the system will automatically start finding the decision makers and hiring managers and their contact details for this company together with a personalized outreach message. And those will um, appear here in the opportunities pipeline. And here you can see all the qualified opportunities with the companies. And you can see here, for example, for the senior vice president of engineering in robust AI, we've, the system found four uh, decision makers and hiring managers with a match score to basically say how likely they are to be the hiring manager. So in this case, there's a 10 here. It also found the email address and the LinkedIn profile. And we can also get some more information on this lead here. And we also get suggested a personalized outreach message here. So you can see Rodney noticed your SVP of engineering moved on recently. So it's a very relevant personalization, of course, especially if this happened maybe one or two days before. Uh, and you can imagine it can get quite good response rates, especially if we're coming there with an offer to replace this person that just left. Now from here, this system can also be integrated with your CRM or ATS or uh, even your email outreach software. So if you want to push this to, to that software, you can do that too here. And then here in job discovery configuration, we can basically set up a new campaign here to start tracking uh, specific job posts on specific uh, job boards, right? So for example, here, the configuration name is just the name inside of the system. So 
right? Then I can choose the platform, for example, LinkedIn jobs, and then I can uh, decide the criteria for this job post. So you can say US, the search radius, the compensation, uh, the seniority levels for your profile, uh, the target job titles, etc. And we have some extra settings here. You can then also let the system decide how often to check for um, these specific job posts on those job boards, and they will all appear here in the job discovery configuration. So you can see we have two set up here, one for Indeed and one for LinkedIn. So I think you get the idea. Let me give you a brief breakdown of how this is set up uh, using NADN and Clay. Now we basically have four sections of this build. Here on the top left, we basically track any uh, career changes that happened across our profile database. Here on the top right, we are continuously monitoring uh, job boards according to uh, the recruiter's criteria to find any new potential opportunities on job boards. Uh, then this part of the system will update the new opportunity if a new opportunity arises and get some more information on the company. Then if the recruiter decided that is a qualified lead, the last part of the NADN automation will kick in to find decision makers and hiring managers of that company. So you can see here that we have a scheduled trigger here that is uh, set on weekly, but can be changed, of course, to more frequent or less frequent. But of course, there's a large database of clients. So we generally recommend uh, weekly to keep the cost low while still maintaining the edge on uh, speed of job opening discovery. Now, in general, this system can be run on around five to six hundred dollars a month. But knowing the potential opportunities that can come out of this system, that's almost always worth it for a recruitment agency. Now, this part will basically pass over all the profiles uh, through a clay workflow. This API call here is a clay workflow. Now, why do we use clay in this build? Because clay, uh, we found, uh, can be a lot more efficient in enriching data, scraping data uh, from sources like LinkedIn, and can be a bit more reliable when running these high volume uh, operations. Now, if you don't know, uh, Clay is basically a sales enrichment platform um, that makes it really easy to enrich a company or profile information. Uh, you can also use it to qualify and filter companies at a large scale. Now, as you can see, we actually have seven Clay workflows integrated into this system. And the information will basically be sent from NADN through a webhook here in Clay, which then runs uh, a workflow. So for this one, for example, it will run the monitoring agent workflow. And basically what it will do is it just gets the most up-to-date information from that profile's LinkedIn profile. Now that data is then uh, sent back to NADN again through a webhook, which will then trigger this part of the automation. And this second part of the automation will uh, check the new information against the old information to check, to check if there are any, any job changes. And if so, it will go through another Clay workflow to actually verify if this is correct or if it wasn't just a small profile update. Um, also to see which type of job change it was, etc. And then once it's verified, it's a legit job change, uh, it will trigger uh, stage two to actually uh, start enriching the company a bit uh, and let the recruiter decide if this is an interesting opportunity or not. And of course, update the air table with that information. You can see that here, we actually use two clay workflows too, to basically make sure that the job posts we are scraping actually match the qualification criteria of the recruiter. So we only bring the relevant results to them. And if so, again, this part of the system uh, will identify the new opportunity and update the RTD room. And of course, when the recruiter approves, this is a qualified lead, then this last part will kick in. It will use here an API to get uh, the decision maker and hiring managers. It will enrich their data with contact information like emails and LinkedIn. Again, through Clay here. Now, I'm not going to dive into the small details of this system because it's a very comprehensive and large system. Uh, and I don't want to make this a, a five hour tutorial. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're a recruiter or a recruiting agency and are interested in adopting the solution, you can check the link in the description below. Also, uh, if you don't know what hap what's happening here at all in NADN and uh, you want to learn this, I have a full five hour tutorial on how to get from zero to advanced on NADN on my channel. I'll also make sure to link it up here. Uh, and by the end of that video, you'll probably understand exactly what I just showed you. Anyway, if you got any value out of it, highly appreciate a, a like and a subscribe. It really does help me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.